we always say, you know, we always say, uh, when you are sick in the hospital, right, your friends will bring fruits, right, or flowers. Your mother will bring you food, care, and even support you. Your brother will bring you some money to help you. Only the insurance agent come, on, come in uh, and settle all your bills. So let's talk about our matter subject, our subject matter. The other subject matter is about claims. Yeah, claim. Insurance claims. One, you want to take over that? Yeah, right. So this is an insurance channel and we thought that it would be good to start with claims because it's the most important aspect of insurance. We buy insurance for the eventuality that there will be a claim, right? Otherwise, there's no point of getting insurance. Agree, agree, agree. Clap for you, clap for you. Wow, wow, clap for you. Wow, clap. Wow, say Okay, all right. So, people purchase insurance or Tata Food mm -hmm. for the eventuality that some of us, not, not us specifically, maybe us, but of so many people, some uh, a number of people will make a claim, right? During the tenure of the policy. Mm. So, that's, that's why we're going to have this topic. Anything to add so far? Okay, put on the earphone. Um, <laughs> okay, for, for, for claims, we'll be talking about life insurance claims. There, there are many, many types of claims. Yeah. Of course. Like uh, there's car insurance for accidents. So basically, for any in type of insurance, there's claim for it. Yeah, yeah, but for, for the purposes of this video, okay. this uh, broadcast, it's for life insurance claims. Okay. There are others non related to life insurance, for example, company insurance mm -hmm. or fire insurance. So, mm -hmm. for life insurance, the uh, hospitalization, which is the most common. Medical. Mm -hmm. medical, medical card. Yeah, for the medical card. Minor accidents. Oh, yeah, Carrie say your voice can hear, but very soft. Oh, okay. Ah. I think it's the mic. Is it the mic or the person? I don't know. It is the person. The ah. mic is a thousand ringgit. Ah, see? Hear that? <laughs> ah. Okay. Talk about... <laughs> 11, 11. Ah. All our mics are Sennheiser and Rode, okay? Ah, Tao Pao. Tao Pao. It slap you on you. Boss. Okay, accidents. <laughs> 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 okay, wait. Okay, okay. Yeah. Accident, critical illness. Yeah. Go ahead. Accident and the critical illness claim and uh, finding the death. Anything to add, please, guys? I think a uh, life insurance claim, accident, critical illness, uh, medical. I want to talk about disability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is one thing I want to talk about also. Okay, so we go one by one. Now. Let's talk about medical. Medical first. Hospitalization. All right. Okay. So what is our experience making claims? You know, let me just start. Huh? Can you just start? Can I start? Can, can. can. So if you look at medical insurance claims, uh, there's a lot of people telling us in the market, when we are agents, right? Mm. When we go and see clients, they always tell us, Ayo, I don't believe in life insurance. I don't believe in medical insurance. I don't trust an insurance company. I don't... Actually, insurance is not a religion. Uh, you don't have to believe it. One. It is something... It is something written in a contract. Now, for all the stories that all our clients and all these people who's... All, all our friends who actually hear, you know, it doesn't work lah, the insurance, cheap people want lah and all that. But have you even, have you heard of the, the millions and millions of successful claims ah? People who have successful rarely. claims against the insurance policy and actually made an impact, a significant impact to their life. Let me share you a story, the hospital medical insurance. I have a client who had a small medical insurance who bought many years ago. It was like 90,000 annual limit. So recently, AIA offered an upgrade, right? So I asked her to upgrade. It took me three visits, two calls on the phone, asked her to visit, and one physical visit uh, to convince her to do it. The add-on premium uh, was about 250 ringgit. But because she's not very well off, uh, but I believe that it is ne needed for her. That top up made her policy from 90,000 become 1.1 million. Recently only. Six months down the line after she topped up, uh, you know what happened? She was diagnosed of pancreatic cancer, first stage. You know how much is the claim now, six months after that? 
much? It has gone more than 280,000 already. Wow. If she has exactly. stick on to 90,000 claim, right? Shoot, gone already. Yeah. The family have to sell house, la, sell car, la, sell the business, la, whatever. Right now, to take care of the bills. Now, recently I got another call from my staff about, you know, we have a centralized servicing team, May. May, our, our centralized servicing team leader called me and, and told me, you know about this lady? I said, yeah, what, what's, what's wrong with her? Uh, her cancer spread to the liver. Oh, man. Cancer has spread to the liver. Mm. We are expecting another 300,000 in claims in the next three or four months. If she would have got a life in, a medical insurance, uh, how would you be able to help him? We always say, you know, we always say, uh, when you are sick in the hospital, right, your friends will bring fruits, right now, or flowers. Your mother will bring you food, care, and even support you. Your brother will bring you some money to help you. Only the insurance agent come out, come in uh, and settle all your bills. So, insurance is important. Especially if you don't have one, you must do something about it. But let's talk about the claims. Medical insurance claims are... I, wanna, I just want to... All this story related to you, I just want to tell you one thing. Uh, you can... Don't like... Uh, the, have this perspective of it but yet again you still need to do something about it unless you live in a cave lah. you know no wi-fi no then then no need to talk lah. right now tell us your experience one on medical insurance claim well plenty man so uh... next slide can yeah um... Okay, the experience and claims. Let's see. Okay, let, let me uh, let's let's go through mm. a, a few slides first, and then okay. we'll, uh, give some examples. All right. So, okay, how? Let's talk about how a medical claim is made. There are two ways mm -hmm. of how it's made. The first one is cashless by a guarantee letter, meaning that you go to GL. Mm. The insurance company will issue a guarantee letter. Guaranteeing mm. to the hospital that whatever the uh, cost in incurred by the patient will be paid by the insurance company. So that is the cashless version. The second way is under pay and claim. Mm. Yeah. Pay and claim, there are a few reasons why there needs to be a pay and claim. Moses, would you like to elaborate? Okay, um, for example, if the medical card is still new. Right, the first thirty days, the first hundred twenty days, then you uh you falls under pain. Then depends on the illness, alright. Like um like we have my experience is there's one time I have a uh, clients who are having this uh, how to say uh, very 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 painful stomach ache. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the medical card is about six months old. Mm -hmm. Then after diagnosis, it's a pancreatitis. Pancreatitis is is a bacterial infection to your uh, stomach wall. Yeah. All right. Then the bacteria actually can be inside your body for like half year, for half year, for more than half year, and it would not react to anything. It means that you wouldn't show symptom whatever. There's a symptom which you you can easily neglect it Means that you 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 will uh, you will have a lot. Of, you will eat a lot. You have a lot of appetite. Right, big appetite, but you still cannot gain weight. But when the symptoms show, you will be very serious. So you have diarrhea and whatever. So when 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 doctors found out have this kind of problem, uh, doing admission, getting guarantee letter. So that's why when the guarantee admissions uh, appeal for admission, reach to to the company. Mm -hmm. Company actually declined the GL, and then it needs to be a further investigation. So in this kind of situation, there's there's a Pay and claim needed, mm -hmm. right? Mm. And then, um, like, there's there's one thing after uh, is like uh, so, sorry this, the, this for the eyes, the cataract. This uh, the, this typically click, uh, when the policy is still relatively new. Mm -hmm. This typically happens when they need to do an investigation. Yes. If it's under two years. Two right? years. Yes. 
Yeah, like, I hold it like this so it's clearer. Like cataract as well, cataract surgery, if the policy is like one year old like that, uh, usually it's, it, it will fall under pain and claim. Uh, our patient, our patient accidental treatment also is under pain and claim. We, we mm. can, I think all of us have <coughs> quite a few. Lah. Correct. Alright. So yeah, this, this, we have to depend on what situation that you will fall under pain and claim. But usually, uh, like for example, dengue or whatever, after a certain period of time, it can be, it will be cashless. Actually. 30 days, dengue. 30 days, yeah, 30 days. Yep. Actually, to, to tell you the truth, uh, we have one claim that uh, we, we did before. You still remember that, that young lady who is doing an SPM one? Oh. A year ago, right? Mm-hmm. About a year ago, 11, there's this yeah. young lady who did, a, who, who did <coughs> during her SPM, like two, two days before her SPM, uh, she bought the <coughs> policy for 15 days. This is Kesa Brna. Kesa Brna, okay? Brna, no. Brna, I can, if you, if you challenge me, I can even show you the receipts. I don't like go name it. Eh. No lah. Don't, yeah lah, of course, no name. But this lady bought a policy with us, with our agency, Gratitude. So, uh, her, her daughter was 18, she was doing her SPM. Two days before she developed fever, went to the hospital, and the policy is only 14 days. The waiting period for general hospitalization is 30 days, ma. Mm. So she was 14 days and she's <coughs> sick, dengue. And she waited in the hospital for to be admitted. As standard, uh, the company must reject, right? It's 14 days, ma. Mm. Must reject. But yet again, the family is not well to do. That's why they need a coverage, ma. Mm. Then you cannot send the daughter back home, right? Because she's dengue or yeah. 30, 40 degrees fever. And she cannot be at home, she cannot also go to the government hospital. Why? Because she'll be in the general ward and she cannot take exam. She cannot do her SPM. So what we did uh, is that on that day of admission, right, we work on it, team work on it, our centralized customer service team work on it. We have a person uh, who actually handles it. Uh, so this person actually works so hard with the claims department and to tell you the truth, at 7 o'clock that night, uh, the claims department let go, approved that GL. At 14 days after buying the policy, 14 days after buying the policy, the GL was approved by AIA. And the girl had a full hospitalization at home, right? No, at, at the hospital. hospital for a week, and she did her SPM there. Yeah. So we, she, she even take a picture and show us uh, the, the mother took a picture and show us where she was doing her SPM. Yeah, the teacher's in there. In a single room at a private hospital. Wow. The teacher was there. And the mother came to our office and said, thank you so much for making this happen. You know, she did a video for us. We, we shot a video, we can show you with her permission or we can show her. Mm-hmm. But that is, that is the essence we just want to tell you. The insurance company is not there to cheat people's money. AIA, I can say generally all insurance company is there to help pay genuine claim. Even though the contract doesn't fulfill right, AIA has the heart to, to approve that claim. Not a lot of money, lah, three, four thousand lah, dengue cannot be a lot of money. But it is how they actually went through, how we went through the this we went uh, the, went through the, 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 the problem and went the, the distance to actually help her. And the company responded with the same response, help the client. So that is amazing story, right? That to, to, to tell. Yeah. Yeah, and one also is like early of this year, remember the gallbladder stone. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The policy is one year. Your friend a lot of stone one now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. They're quite stone. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Your friend got a lot of stone. All right. Uh, yeah, blend I think don't, don't, don't laugh at people's illness. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. All right, it's, um, it's due to age, lah, right? So, so um, yeah, the policy is one year. And then um, my client wife that suddenly they have this uh, gallbladder stone thing and they need to emission and remove, do the removal of the gallbladder stone. Um, yeah, at first the GR was declined, all right? But fortunately, because the, the surgery was scheduled on a week after, so we do a pre-GL and then we know that the GR was declined. So we took, we took some time to actually appeal 
because this cannot be something that is suddenly uh, can hide because when you have this gallbladder stone it means that something is quite urgent already so uh, we appeal and then yeah after the do doctor report and everything yes it's genuine then uh, the claim the GI was approved approved yeah yeah, was okay. So that's the that's the story lah for the claims. Yeah, so it's not so difficult one actually. A, a lot of times uh, the agent's role is also very important. Whether the agent goes the distance to help them, right now. Yeah. All right, guys, I have to cut you there. So the other two points where mm. there's a pain claim, the uh, slides, is if, yeah. Is if if they are in a government hospital or non-penal hospital. Or if there's a follow up uh, from from a hospitalization. So, yeah. what's the if if there is a pain claim mm -hmm. and if it's a, a fresh pain claim? Okay. What are required? Oh, so this the, is very good question. Yeah, also. The, the, these are a few things uh, we we need to know in general. So even if you are not in the insurance line or you haven't done a claim before or if your situation doesn't really require you to do a pain claim maybe you have a, a policy that is old enough to not require this but let's say uh, if it's a new policy and there needs to be a, pay, a pain claim so first there's a claim form a claim form basically is to write in your information bank details and then secondly is the doctor's report so the doctor has to fill up also uh, what is his findings and then there is a consent letter to allow the insurance company to check the patient's medical records in any clinic or hospital. And uh, also the invoice receipt, discharge summary, lab reports. Right? Yeah, Renan, go ahead. Can you go back there? So I quite agree that these are the documents needed to pay and claim. But uh, if you ask me now, all these documents uh, should be collected, done, and prepared by who? By the agent. By the agents. Yeah. If you're a client sick on the death, de not death bed, sorry, <laughs> sick, sick on a, on, a, on a hospital bed, right? And you still need to do all this, uh, it is pretty tough, right? It's difficult. Yeah. True. Oh, yeah. Of course, yeah. the... So this should be all be done by the agents. So picking a right agent is also very important. If an agent is not going to do this for you, right? It's time to rethink. Yeah, the, the competent agent will do all of this, um, of course. But this is a general knowledge. Sometimes we have agents who are not in the business anymore, or maybe not really servicing. So it's, it's good to know that these are the documents required. And of course, if anyone out there uh, faces this problem uh, and you need some help, of course you can contact us. We'll be happy to, to assist you. So we are a bit different, right, one. How different? Gratitude. How different? You don't know, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. What don't know? I know. Yeah. Because we are an agent. Okay. We do usually we do like any other agent. We do all the claims. We do meet people. But with gratitude, there is a core servicing team, which is mm. consists of May, Willing, and Melissa. Ah, uh, don't forget ho, Melissa. Ho, ho. ho is our editor. Don't do claims. Uh, well, if he uh, needs it, he will come out also from Bahaw. Bahaw, ah? okay. Uh. Uh, so we, we usually uh, contact with clients, uh, the agents. Yes. But any claim forms that, as you can see beforehand, is uh, claim form, any summaries, uh, anything, any documents from the hospital, usually. Mm. Our servicing team will inquire with the hospital itself. Mm. So, agents. Efficiency. Efficiency. So we, we multitask. Okay, the, the clients admit, we handle, but the claims and everything, the servicing team will handle. So that is also good, right? We have a core servicing team, a centralized system, a group of staff who professionally handles all our clients' claims. That actually takes away a lot of pressure of the agents, you know, so that the agent can spend more time with the client, see you more in the hospital, really take care of you, you know, talk to you. I think, I think that, is, that is a good point. That is, that is a strong point that we have. All clients are taken care of by our professional core servicing team. Yep. Who are not agents, are they are actually professional staffs. Right? Yep. So let's mm -hmm. move to the next slide. Yeah. Yep. So this is 
this is the important no, this lot. is important to know for all policy owners take everything that the agent has explained to you with a pinch of salt okay because again say that louder that need to be heard by everyone yeah take whatever that was explained to you with a pinch of salt by the agent yeah by the agent so we of uh, agents of course you you we we explain but, but sometimes some agents and we've heard of this kind of stories they maybe they uh, they didn't they don't disclose the full information and we might not get the full picture of what can be claimed what cannot be claimed what are the timelines so as consumers we are also obliged to read our policy contract because that's, that's our duty right so make sure you read your policy and seek clarification where you don't understand the claim is paid based on the contract not based on what the agent has told you so it's always good to cross check the information between what was said to you and what's actually in the contract because the claim is paid by the contract so okay i'm going to the next slide next slide yep oh yeah oh, don't fight the mouse ho 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 okay. so i think it's it's, it's both party responsibility mm. also so agent must as an agent must clarify and make our presentation clear mm, correct okay so whatever it says in the contract then we must share it with the it must be very transparent with the clients right and then uh from as a client all right we we ourselves as a client also we need to first understand the contract itself read mm, it correct. understand it so uh, it will be easier for both parties when things happen right managing client expectate for agent to manage client expectation and clients know what to expect when things happen mm -hmm. it's very important during claims and yeah so i just want to tell all of you this is what we call an open session mm -hmm. an open session means we take active calls from our audience so of all our audience outside if you're watching the show you can actually call us at this number zero what zero it's okay it, it's actually my name uh, my number zero one one three three zero five six four four one yeah ho can you change it to the main screen change it to the main screen all right change it to the main screen big screen all right so if you can see change it to the big scene big scene all up all up right so do you, do you want to go through this first yeah I'm just saying. I'm just showing the guests, uh, mm -hmm. all the, all the uh, audience outside. If mm -hmm. you want to call us, you can call us at this number. It is coming up on the screen. Uh, we have a live call session. If you can call us, tell us uh, what is your problem. Uh, we will answer them. How come it's not showing <laughs> the number? Zero one one. Zero one one three three zero five six four four one. Let me just type it in. Zero one one. Three three zero. Again, uh, zero one one three three zero five six four four one. Four four one. Okay. If you have any question, call us at this number. We will actually answer you. Okay. Right. Is there already? Anybody actually can call us right now. We are answering your question, and you will be live with us. If you want to be on TV, call us. Your face <laughs> will not be shown. Yeah. Only your voice. Go back, go back to the what? Go back to the to the slides. To the slides. Yep. So this is the last part. How to avoid your insurance claims getting de being declined? Mm -hmm. Very important. Yeah. Do not ever lap Do not ever lapse your policy because uh, if you lapse your policy and your policy, let's say you uh, make your payment again and your policy is reinstated, the waiting period will start all over again. Mm -hmm. And if touch wood something happens in that waiting period, right? Then it's not covered so don't avoid this make sure all your payments are on auto debit don't let your policy and at the point of application disclose all your medical condition so that um, if there's a claim and there's an investigation uh, have, if there needs to be an investigation uh, nothing nothing will compromise your claims yep so i, I think that's the final one so that's all about claims. Of course, mm -hmm. if you have any questions, feel free to ask us.